Hello everyone, it's Jenna Ryan with Self Love You. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the sadistic narcissist, about how all narcissists, psychopaths, sociopaths, are sadistic. That there's something in the way that they were brought up, raised, neglected, or made to feel better than others or raised by narcissists, how, whatever happened to them, something is mismatched in their emotional attachment connection to other people's system. And so the narcissist is actually empowered by your pain. If you are hurting, it makes the narcissist feel good. And this is what's so hard to understand and so hard to figure out because as a normal person with a normal attachment system, with, with the ability to empathize with others, we have a tendency to project how we feel about others onto others. So we think if we're, we're empathetic people, we think everybody feels the way we feel. We feel that everybody should hurt for others the way we hurt for others. If someone told us something bad about their lives or something we caused someone pain, then we have empathy for those people. And some of us who are codependent have too much empathy even because we were trained to be that way, conditioned as children to over empathize with narcissist caretakers. So what we have to understand is not everyone is like you if you're an empathetic person. And so if you are going to the narcissist or a narcissistic type of person and telling them that, ouch, what you're doing is hurting me, or please don't do this because it makes me in pain, or my life is in pain, or I don't feel good, and telling the narcissist how badly you feel is not going to get you anywhere because the narcissist is very good at mimicking real emotion and they can like pretend like they have a tear in their eye and go that really bothers me when you say that but they've learned that along the way because they've learned that that's socially acceptable and they've learned that they can get more pain out of people whenever they pretend to have these emotions that they don't really have so the truth is about the narcissist is the narcissist enjoys your pain and will egg it on as much as possible, depending upon how vulnerable you are, how much you don't know about them will depend upon how much pain they will inflict upon you. They get a sick sort of pleasure out of making you feel like shit. If you feel like shit and you turn to the narcissist to help you or to feel for you, um, you're in big trouble because what they're going to do is they're going to say things covertly and subtly to make you feel even worse. And then as you're sharing your negative feelings, your negative emotions with the narcissist, thinking that they're like you and that they actually care and believing their false displays of emotion for you and empathy that they don't even have, if you sit there and, and, and do this, then they are going to use that information of the pain that you've shared with them. They're going to use it later and poke you with it and stab you with it. They're going to stab you with the very things that you share about yourself that hurt the worst. And they'll continue to do it for years and years and years until you wake up and realize what is going on. Narcissists are sadistic. That is why you really can't have boundaries with a narcissist. They're going to find a way to bust your boundaries, to get around your boundaries, because they see you, the victim or the target, as narcissistic supply. They want to feed off of your pain. They want to feed off of your energy. They don't care if you, they just want your pain. Your pain is their gain. So they like to do things like ostracize you. They like to rub things in your face. They like to make you feel envious. They like to do whatever they can to make you feel less than so that they can feel better than. 
They will tell lies in order to hurt you. They will bring up things that someone else said about you that was negative and bring it up and act like they're just helping you out by sharing the information with you. The narcissist is so sadistic. The narcissist loves your pain. The narcissist feeds on your pain and you need to know this. You need to know this in order to protect yourself. You do not share with everyone how you're truly feeling. You need to be careful and protect yourself and not share information about how you feel with people until you have given them time to unfold and make sure that they're not a narcissist. A narcissist will punch you right in your weakest spot at your weakest moment whenever you need love the most. And this is most sad for children because a child with a narcissist for a parent who is hurting at their worst moment, the parent at that moment gets a sadistic joy, a thrill out of hurting that child even more. So, and then the sadistic narcissist parent does the sweet mean cycle and turns nice. So the child is just like completely clueless as to what's going on. That's the saddest thing is for a child to have to grow up with a uh, sadistic parent that when, it, when, when the child is crying and in need, the parent actually gets pleasure out of the tears of the child. Instead of feeling for the child and wanting to stop the child's pain, the parent, the parent actually eggs it on or the family system eggs it on. And so I have a friend who recently got involved with a bunch of narcissists. It, it's, it's very easy to happen. Where one is, you're going to find a whole mess of them because narcissists like to feed off of each other's pain and ignorance, the ignorance of people that have empathy because those are the people that they can suck the blood out of. Your blood that the narcissist sucks, your energy is the pain that you feel whenever the, the narcissist does things like you know, talks behind your back, does the smear campaign over and over again, will repeat the sweet mean cycle over and over again and get this joy because, you know, if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know what you're dealing with, then you're going to be clueless and you're just going to be tossed like a ball among this, I call it a narc tank. It's like a narc tank. It's like a, a snake pit of people who are getting pleasure out of making you feel less than. But the less than feeling and what they're trying to make you feel is all an illusion. It's not even real. And if you grow up in that sort of system, you think that there's this ranking system and that you're less than everybody because that's what the narc tank has taught you. That's what the narcissistic illusion has taught you. And so you're just you're, you're being, you're, they're making you, and I say making you because you don't have any will of your own. If you're raised in this sort of system, you're never taught that you have a will. You're never taught that you have freedom. You're taught that these people are better than you and you suck. And they literally, they just get a thrill. They'll smile. There's a smile, even though they're like, I'm so sorry you're going through that. But inside, they're so happy you're going through that. They can't wait because the reason that they're so sadistic is that they're pathologically envious of everybody. They're envious, they're, they're envious of other relationships. They're envious of people that have feelings. They're, I mean, they get crazy envious over the silliest things. And once you come out of the narcissist illusion and you begin to break free and realize what life is truly all about, and it's really not about getting to the top of this narcissist lie, once you realize that there's nothing at the top once you get there, you begin to see really what's going on and you can actually, it's really easy to play with the narcissist head because they have no clue. And what they want to do is they want to put you in pain. They want to build you up and, and they'll, they'll come in with love bombing and making you feel good because what they want to do is pull you down. So you want to be very careful in if you're the type of person that needs external validation, which is a codependent person. If you need external validation, 
if you're not validating yourself from within, if you don't know how great you are, if you don't know the value of who you are, and you can't provide for your own self the validation that you need, then you're going to turn externally to these narcs. And what they're going to do is they're going to love bomb you and tell you what you need to hear, what you weren't told when you were little, and do things for you. And they'll do it just long enough to get their hooks in you. And once they get their hooks in you, then they're going to start pulling, reeling you in and causing you pain. It reminds me, my nephew was talking about fishing and they put the minnow on the hook. That's the bait. And then it swims around because it's got that hook in its back. So the bait swims around and then a fish comes along and eats that fish with the hook inside. And once the hook is inside, you just reel that fish in. You just reel. So the, the codependent empath, the enabler, the person who is doesn't know what, what is happening to them because they can't see the hook, because they're unknowledgeable, because they won't take care of themselves. They don't understand how, because they're involved in this system. And so the, they're just hooked into the system. And then they're able to be controlled by the narcissist who is lying, and they are controlled by this stupid illusion. And this can really mess with your mind. It can mess with your head. You can begin to feel like you are incapable when you're really a very capable person. You can feel like you're unworthy when you're really completely worthy. You can feel like you can't do anything when really you can do everything. They control you once they use this kindness, this fakeness, in order to hook you. And then they love to see you squirm. They love it. And, and I tell you what, it's an energetic thing. Like you may think, okay, I'm in a lot of pain right now because this guy did this to me. And you think that, that they're not going to notice because they don't know you're crying. There's something energetic in the system. They feel it or something. They know they know when they're getting to you. And that's why all the, that's why people say go no contact with the narcissist because no contact will give them nothing. You don't want to give them any of your pain. You don't want to give them any information about you in, so that they can cause you pain. And you don't want to be masochistic. I mean, someone who's raised in pain, someone who's raised by a parent who constantly is getting joy from the pain of the child becomes masochistic, which means they actually are primed, are queued up for pain, and pain actually feels good to them. And they're addicted to pain because that's all they've ever known. And so they think love and pain are one and the same. And so it's not one and the same. And you have to learn and rewire the neural pathways in your brain that tell you that love is pain, that someone who is enjoying, there's, it's underneath, once your eyes start opening and you start seeing the truth and you see this person for who they really are, even someone that you really loved and care about, and you see that you have sat there and told them all the horrible things that you've been feeling and they've been getting joy out of it. They've actually, it makes them feel good whenever you're being ostracized. It makes them feel good whenever you feel inadequate. That is what makes them feel good. And so what you have to do is get out of that system and understand what you're dealing with because it is not a very good thing. It is not something that you have to deal with because there are things in life that are better and, and you don't need to let these sadistic individuals come and control your life. You just don't need it. You don't need it. You need to let them go and find people that aren't sadistic and quit telling narcissists about your pain because they actually enjoy it. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for liking this video. I'm Jenna Ryan. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.